the pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina, straight talk, starting right now. So I'm going to give you the pros, I'm going to give you the cons, I'm going to mix it all up, no particular order. Let's jump right in. Pro number one, Charlotte is an extraordinarily diverse city. I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're green, blue, brown, yellow, LBGTQ, mixed marriages, mixed relationships. There's a place here for everybody. Everybody gets along, and Charlotte's one of those areas is very, very diverse and inclusive. Now, it's not to say that there's not any bad stuff that goes on, because bad stuff happens everywhere. I'm not naive, but Charlotte is a great place for everyone to thrive. Pro number two, I think that's where we are. Pro number two is that this is a very, very family oriented city, very, very young as far as families are concerned, a great place to bring up kids, kids galore. It's very family focused, very family oriented. Kids are welcome pretty much everywhere. Even the pro football team is geared towards children. You can bring your kids to a pro football game and not worry about a bottle being thrown at them and hitting them in the head. Another pro, because nobody's actually from Charlotte, everybody's from somewhere else. And I've worked from people from around the world who have relocated to Charlotte. Everyone is unbelievably nice. People are waving, saying hello. Neighbors are friendly. Again, it's not 100%. But based on my experience living other places in the United States, this place is really, really nice. People are kind. You go to the supermarket, they want to carry out your bags. It's kind of like almost too good to be true. Another pro here in the Charlotte metro area is the variety of different home styles and lifestyles that you can have. You can have waterfront property on Lake Norman or Lake Wiley or Mountain Island Lake. You can be in a country club situation. You can have a town home. You can have a small bungalow cottage close to uptown. You can have a mansion out in Weddington or Marvin. There are so many different opportunities here and different types of lifestyles that there is definitely a lifestyle that is for you. Gated neighborhoods, golf neighborhoods, it all depends on what you are looking for. Another pro here for Charlotte is the unbelievable weather. Weather for me is nice nine months out of the year. The worst part of the year for me is the summertime where it gets pretty hot and humid, which would be a con if you don't like hot and humid. However, as a New Yorker who's been back and forth to New York for the last 13 years since I've lived here in Charlotte, it is hot and humid as all heck in New York as well. So it's pretty much everywhere. Sometimes it's actually cooler here than it is in New York. So for me, that's a con that it's hot um, in the summertime. Rest of the year is unbelievable. Winters are phenomenal. Spring is great. Fall is gorgeous. So the weather for most people is ideal. A lot of people like the heat, not, not this guy. Another pro for me is there is not a, a large amount of traffic in comparison to where I'm from. You know, if you compare Charlotte to New York or to Boston or to Chicago or to Washington DC or to San Francisco or LA, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, there's no traffic here. Trust me on this one. You're going to have a little bit of a backup. You have roads that are being widened and, and made bigger, but the amount of traffic here is negligible. Now, if you're from a small town in Nebraska or in Iowa, yeah, there's, there's definitely traffic here in Charlotte. But for the most part, no matter where you're from, traffic is very, very minimal. Now, it's changing. Charlotte's booming but it's still not what it is elsewhere in the United States. Have you ever been down to Atlanta? You go take a look and see what the traffic is like down there. 
and then compare it to Charlotte's. Now, another pro for Charlotte is it's just naturally beautiful. It's clean, it's treed, it's, it's just very, very pretty. I have been all around the country, basically around the world. Every time I come back to Charlotte, I can't get over how pretty Charlotte is. It's not just my opinion. I have people that I'm working with from England who have been in every part of the world and in the United States. I think that Charlotte is gorgeous. I have clients from all over the place and they absolutely love Charlotte and its beauty. It's naturally beautiful. You've got animals. I had an owl on my porch last night actually. Um, hawks and deer and hummingbirds, occasional fox. It's a really just a, a tremendous place to live. Naturally beautiful with animals, trees, flowers. It's got it all. Now the downside of that is there is a pollen season which lasts for two or three weeks where there's a yellow haze that comes out. If you're allergic, you're gonna have to use some uh, Flonase or um, Benadryl. Actually, Benadryl is not good for you. The pollen is what leads to all the beauty. So it's a pro, big pro. The con is that if you're very susceptible to allergies, you will get hit for two or three weeks or so. Another pro for Charlotte is jobs, jobs, jobs. Charlotte is a boom town. Charlotte is booming, booming with high tech jobs, startup jobs. The banking sector is second to, to New York City. There are jobs everywhere. The healthcare sector is huge here in Charlotte as well. Opening up our first medical school in Charlotte, it's gonna be a division of Wake Forest. Another positive for Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas are property taxes. Property taxes are substantially less than the majority of the United States as opposed to, let's say, New York, where you could be paying $20,000 for a 3,000 square foot house. Here in Charlotte, for a 3,000 square foot house, your property taxes may be six or $7,000. Obviously, it's property dependent. Prices have gone up in the last three or four years tremendously. They've just done reevaluations on property values. But compared to a lot of major metropolitan cities, taxes are much less. Compared to other states, property taxes are far lower than many other states in the U.S. Charlotte has a world-class airport. Charlotte Douglas International Airport was the sixth busiest airport in, in the world. Um, I just saw the latest rankings. It's dropped out of the top 10. But American Airlines has one of its major hubs here. You can get from here to anywhere. I can get from here to New York. Tell me I need to get there in three hours and I can get there into Midtown Manhattan from Charlotte. Charlotte Douglas International Airport is pretty much convenient to most areas of the Charlotte metro area. American Airlines get you anywhere you want to go. Uh, oftentimes you have to connect in New York or Atlanta if you're going transcontinental, you're going to China, you're going to Africa. But for the most part, Charlotte Douglas International Airport is a great airport. I just came back from Atlanta. Atlanta is the biggest and busiest airport in the country, actually in the world. Um, Charlotte, far nicer. Another pro for Charlotte is you still have a very strong market. Charlotte is a boom city housing market is still booming here in Charlotte. Things have slowed down a little bit, but prices have not gone anywhere. Nothing has dropped. So if you're looking for a house, pretty safe bet that Charlotte is going to hold its value as far as property values when purchasing a home. Now the cons for Charlotte. Now there definitely are cons. Con number one, public transportation is not great. The buses we do have a Lynx line, which is kind of like an above ground subway kind of thing. It does connect a lot of areas, but it is not robust. So public transportation is not really phenomenal here in Charlotte. They are working on it, but typically a car is going to be necessary. Con number two, we are booming. We are growing and so are the prices of homes. Four or five years ago, you could have easily gotten a house here for four or $500,000. 
Now it's a stretch. I have never seen so many multi-million dollar homes sold in the Charlotte metropolitan area. So it's definitely gotten more expensive. Still cheaper than a lot of other areas in the US. I'm talking about Chicago, San Francisco, New York. You're still getting a ton more for your money here in Charlotte than a lot of other places, but it's not as cheap as it once was. Now I said traffic was not a problem and it definitely still is not a problem, but it definitely has increased. There are definitely more cars on the road now than they were 13 years ago when I moved down here. So there is an increase in the amount of traffic. However, the increase in traffic is negligible to me. For some other people, it may be a big deal. But for me, very, very negligible. Any road that I can do 70 miles an hour at any time, there's not any traffic. Now, like I mentioned again, in the weather, that the weather is great, but summers are hot and humid. So if hot and humid is something that you don't want, you're going to have to stay in Vermont or stay in Michigan, deal with the winters. Um, but most people like the hot and humid. I'm not one of them, so I'm making that a con. The other thing that I didn't mention was the pollen season. Also a con for me. The biggest thing that I need you to know about Charlotte, because I'm contacted every day about people who have never been here, and when they come here, they want me to show them around and show you what Charlotte has to offer. Charlotte has everything that you're looking for in a major city. It's got beauty. It has top-notch restaurants, which have increased tremendously in the last several years. So if you're a foodie, there are definitely going to be food venues for you here. And they're growing every single day. There's outdoor activities. There's just a lifestyle that you cannot really beat pretty much anywhere else that I have seen. It's all about lifestyle. Do you want to be outside? You can be outside. Do you want your kids to grow up on a horse? Do you want your kids to be safe? You know, look what's going on in Chicago, other parts of the US. Charlotte is calm, cool, and collected. It is a beautiful place to live. I have lived here for 13 years. I would never move back to New York or Long Island. I have lived in Boston. I've been through Philly. I'm very well versed in Miami. I have clients who move from Miami and Fort Lauderdale. What you get for your money here is far better than what you're going to get down in Florida. Lifestyle is going to be much, much different. You can have any lifestyle you want here in the Charlotte metro area. I know sometimes people think that where they live is the best, right? Because as a New Yorker, I thought the world revolved around New York. It really doesn't. There's lots of areas to live that you're going to have a better life. I've got tons of clients who will back me up on this. They've moved from Boston and San Francisco and England and Bermuda, every part of the US, and it's really a great place to live. If you think you and I are a good fit, you think you want to come down and visit Charlotte, feel free to reach out. Contact info is down below, call or text. Thanks for watching, and until we see each other again next time.